when you think about assisted living and, and we can talk about memory care too in a little bit, but you think yeah. about assisted livings, that decision is oftentimes spawned by a need versus a want. Is you that know, more like chronic health problems? It can be. Like yeah. something that okay, yeah. okay. it can be chronic health problems. It can be um, you know, struggles with maintaining medications. It can be maybe challenges with um, eating, it can be maybe physical mobility challenges, but there can also be an aspect of isolation, just oh gosh, sheer yeah. isolation. And where somebody who was once active is no longer as active, or maybe they are widowed now and their support system has, has changed over time. And so when I think about some of the things that I've heard over the years, People's hesitancy to move to a senior living is people fear losing their independence. I say you have more independence here because who wants to be alone at home? Especially after two years of COVID or whatever year of COVID we're on now. exactly. Of the pandemic, but (laughs) there's this yearning. As humans, I yearn for a community as an extrovert. I know know not everyone does. Well, but But even even the most introverted people were designed to have relationships and were designed to have fellowship and community with one another. And, um, And people are missing that at home. And that that thing they fear of losing their independence they're often losing it at home. They're having family members do more and more and more for them. And if they would be willing to just come check out a senior living community and see what it's all about, they might find that they would actually regain some of their independence.